Hi, I'm Marianne, and I'm an impulsive shopper. So, I was going through my stuff the other day, and I found this purple mascara that I bought about two months ago. And it got me thinking about all the stuff that I buy without really thinking about whether I need it or not. So, this is what the mascara was like. It's literally lilac. I would not wear this ever. Not even on a cold day inhale. But I bought it because I found it for 12 Rand 99. I just had to have that mascara and have it I did. So I took it home with me and then I only tried to apply it about two weeks later. And to my disappointment, it was lilac. So. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to throw it away, but then I just kept it there. And then, here we are now. I know I like saying here we are now. <laughs> Can't help it. So I went ahead and dug out all the other things that I regret now that I bought. And at the time I was thinking, this is an investment or this is just perfect. I need it. I'm going to use it and love it forever and ever. So here's exhibit A, my wallet. My wallet says sweet 16. I am 23. I bought it when I was 20. I have not been 16 for a lot of years now. <laughs> it's really embarrassing and I don't even take it with me anymore. I'd rather keep my money in my bag or in my pocket or like hold it because my wallet is that embarrassing for me now. <laughs> Exhibit B. This is a cup. It looks a bit like a thermal flask, but on the inside It looks like that. So the inside is really plastic. It's not a vacuum flask and when I bought it I was actually buying it for carrying coffee to school and then in my ignorance on the first day I made coffee and I put it in this cup and then I took it to school with me. So I usually leave at about like 5 a.m. to go to school. So I get there and I don't drink it because I'm thinking I'm saving this for class. I'm going to drink it at around 10 because that's when I had my first class on that day. So I get to class, I pop open my flask like so and then I start drinking it. It's cold and I'm just like, what's happening? What is wrong with this thing? Only to figure out that, yeah, Marianne, you just bought a cup that is not a flask and you fooled yourself so into when I asked it. everyone why they didn't have any regrets they said that it was because they thought about their purchases before they made them they made sure not to carry around cash wherever they went just in case they got tempted and if it was something big they made sure that they'd search for it on the internet first do a lot of research who's the best seller look at product review videos and those kind of things. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have things that you've bought that you regret buying as well or whether I'm the only weirdo out there who actually does And then this. one more thing. That's my niece Nala and she's in a baby of the year competition run by Philips and I would like for you to vote for her using the link that I posted on my Facebook for her to be the baby of the year and it would really mean so much to me if you guys did that. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!